Good day guys and girls, my name's Jamie Gray and welcome to another Earth Moving Equipment Magazine case study. And look, we've popped out here and we've caught up with Robert McKenzie from Macca's Sand and Soil Supply. How you going, bud? Yeah, great. Great to meet you again. You too, bud. You too. And look, we've also got Michael from CJD Equipment. Jamie, how Michael, are you? pleasure. So guys, uh, number one, awesome to come out here and have a look around today. What a spectacular sight. But um, look, Rob, what do you want to share with everyone a little bit about yourself and Maccas and how long things have been going for and where we're actually standing today? So look, um, it's a family operation. Started off uh, with myself and my father over 30 years ago. And now both of my sons are working in the business, which is which is great. Fantastic. Yeah, so um, we're focused on pushing out a high quality, cost effective product into the building construction industry. Fantastic. And you've only got to look around here and have a look at the quality of this sand yeah. to see how pristine it is. Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty special spot where we are. Why don't you share with everyone where we're actually standing? Yeah, look, we're on the, uh, on the Stockton um, Newcastle coastline between uh, Newcastle and Nelson Bay. Yep. Um, we're extracting this uh, windblown dune sand along the edge of the uh, coastal strip. Yep. And most of the product is, like I said, going into the construction industry, building industry. Perfect, perfect. So how long, I mean, you guys are talking about some pretty significant volumes of sand. How, how much stuff have you got moving? How much material's moving like over a 12 month period? Oh, we move 2 million tonne a year consistently. Oh, wow. wow, so when it comes to equipment, um, obviously you've got, uh, well, there's three beautiful Volvos down there now driving around. Uh, what, what type of machinery have you guys been relying on pretty much since the days? Look, uh, my previous life, I worked for a uh, another operation where I cut my teeth on a Volvo, yep. a 120D, okay. and uh, that was a great machine. Uh, I tried uh, some other, I suppose, loaders throughout uh, my early years, yep. and I came back to a Volvo every time. Okay. The fuel efficiency, the uh, cost saving, uh, but the, probably the most important for me was the driver comfort and the employees like driving them and we've built a close relationship with CJD you know and uh, it's uh, it's they're a part of our operation yep. any, a very uh, integral part of our our success I believe perfect. the Volvo equipment perfect and what seems to be the general feedback from the boys that are putting in the hours day in day out in the machines what, what are the standouts for them oh look I suppose comfort um, noise reduction Yep. Uh, visibility, yep. but also together CJD and Volvo and, and Maccas have, have come up with a very good spec for our operation over the years and now um, it's, it's reduced the workload and we can get more out in, a, in an hour than we ever were able to before with obviously working closely with CJD and Volvo. Perfect, so this is obviously where all your sand comes from. What about the soil side of things? Where are you pulling most of your soil from? Yeah, so we've got three operations. Um, this is our southern operation, our Williamtown deposit. Yep. And then we'll take a trip up to our northern operation and that's where you'll see where we make the soils for the turf grass industry, for polo fields, sporting um, ovals and okay. obviously horse racetracks. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. So Michael, while we've got you here, mate, how's it been working with the guys since, since what, how long has the relationship been going for now? Oh, look, my personal relationship with uh, Rob and his father Bruce has been for uh, over 12 years now. Awesome. But they had a solid relationship with CJD prior to that. Yeah. Uh, I've been lucky enough to be, a, to be a part of it in the latter years. Okay, awesome. So Michael, one of the key things that really stood out to me watching the trucks pull up and get loaded was the speed and the efficiency in which those trucks get loaded. What's been happening on that front in terms of the efficiencies? Yeah, look, I think that's something that we've worked on in conjunction with Macca Sands and particularly uh, Rob and uh, the sales team in particular, um, getting some technical specs together on yep. how we can get the efficiencies up. Uh, and at the moment, I just uh, timed a, a truck there that came in and a 35 ton in under three minutes. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. <laughs> Mate, it's definitely the quickest I've seen a truck get loaded. So yeah. yeah, awesome stuff, guys. Well, look, should we um, jump in the cars and head up and check out the other site and um, see what's been happening yeah. on that front? Yeah, let's have a look All around right. there. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. So guys, we're here with one of the operators at Macca's. Jason, how you going, buddy? Yeah, good. That's the way, mate. Good to see you too, bro. So look, you're putting some hours in on the Volvos, mate. How, what's your feedback as the operator out there? What do you love about them? Oh, just a good machine, well suited to the task. Yep, on the, on the sand there, even with the uh, the big loaders, mate, they're nice and stable? Yeah, very, yep. 
couple of tyres shaved and a few little modifications. But yeah, nice one. So yeah. how long have you been working uh, with the boys for? Five years. Excellent. And that whole time in the Volvo? Yeah. Yep. So if you had to pick one standout feature, what would it be? Uh, probably the capacity, the bucket capacity yeah. and hydraulic power. Perfect. Right, so Rob, we've got the awesome uh, plant here behind us. Does yep. this how, how many hours a day is this in operation for? Oh, we run this 14 hours a day. Beautiful. Yep. Just just ticks along? Yeah, just ticks along. Goes through a washing treatment, I guess? Yeah, what we do, we bring the raw product in, we wash it, we screen it, we yep. process it, and then we'll load that out. So this will grow to the turf grass industry, yep. uh, building industry, tilers, renderers, Perfect. Um, kids' sand pits. So yeah, no, we, awesome. we go all over the place oh. with it. Mate, it's been a real pleasure coming yeah, it's been on a great site day. today. Thanks so much for letting yeah. us come on board. That's great. And Michael, awesome to have you on board again. It's awesome thanks, to see so. the Volvos getting such a good workout out here. So guys and girls, thanks so much for tuning in for another Earth Moving Equipment Magazine case study. Make sure you stay really safe on site and we'll catch you soon.